Hello. It is Sunday. It's June the 4th. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotions. Today we are uh, reading from the book of Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. <clears throat> and here is the word of the Lord. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above, you, above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but to each of you to the interest of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking on the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. And that is the word of the Lord. Our article today is written by Andrea Talley and is titled Beyond Your Preferences. And here's what Andrea writes. <clears throat> Babies are born into this world singing one song. Me, I'm hungry, I'm sleepy, pick me up. As they grow, they learn to think of others, but life is still pretty much what they prefer. They color the pizza orange because orange is their favorite color. They wear their dinosaur pajamas all day because they want to feel like a T-Rex. Their choices reflect their preferences. Grown-ups have their preferences too. They have their favorite chair, a certain way they drink their coffee, and their preferred brand of laundry soap. Preferences are fine. But when they cease being personal and shift into expectations imposed on others, problems often arise. I once heard a pastor talk about the importance of leading beyond our preferences. I think it would be safe to su substitute the word love for lead. When our list of favorites get in the way of reflecting Christ, they are favorites need, they are favorites need to be set aside. How can we accomplish the goal of showing God's love isn't important? Loving God and others is what's important. When we love beyond our preferences, the kingdom grows and the Father is glorified. The hymn is Holy Spirit Be My Guide by Mildred Cope. Holy Spirit be my guide. Holy Spirit my heart's open wide. And from the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verses 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Have a good day. This is your daily devotions for Sunday, June the 4th. And may you have God's peace.